In today's video, I'm going to give you an update on Microsoft advertising. Last week, Microsoft ads made a huge announcement via email. I have the email here. I'm going to talk about what the big update is and talk about what the implications are. And I'm also going to talk about what you can do to start adapting as soon as possible. So I have the email here and I'll walk you through it really quickly. And essentially just jumping right into the big update starting tomorrow, February 21st, we will no longer longer be able to see the audience ad bid modifier in our campaign settings. So I'm going to take a few steps back here and first explain the Microsoft audience network. And essentially what that is, is it's a network of websites that are connected to Microsoft advertising. And there's no one place that you can go to see all the different websites that are connected to Microsoft advertising. Um, but it is a network of websites. It changes often too, by the way. And a lot of times they tend to be very low quality. Um, think swagbucks.com. Think, um, I'll have a list that I can share of just the top 100, but a lot of them from my experience in running ads is just really low quality. And I have not seen any leads or quality leads come from using the Microsoft audience network. So from my perspective and what I've always done is I've always blocked it out whenever I set up a Microsoft advertising campaign. And the way to do that is by putting ad bid modifiers, negative bid modifiers on the audience network. But now starting tomorrow, we will no longer be able to block out the audience network. So we will essentially, all advertisers are going to be forced into using the Microsoft audience network, which is very unfortunate and very frustrating, but um, it's just the way that we have to roll. And unfortunately, it's really not in our best interest, it's in Microsoft ads best interest because they want to give more traffic to their audience network. But then the challenge is they're not going to be generating the best traffic and the best quality leads for the advertisers. And it's going to make the advertisers more frustrated. Um, but that's really what it is. So they're going to be taking away the advertiser's ability to no longer like not want to appear on these network websites that they are partnered with. So now all Microsoft advertisers are going to have to appear on the Microsoft audience network unless, and please stay tuned until the very end because I do have a way that we can actually go about mitigating this and prevent you from appearing on too many of these. But I'm going to first talk about what the benefits that Microsoft ads mention here are. Are. And they mentioned unified management, enhanced signal, strong ROI. And of course, they're trying to spin it in a positive light because they know that a lot of advertisers like me are not going to be very happy about this. And unfortunately, as they see these as benefits, but I don't see having stronger ROI coming from sending my traffic to low quality websites that is not search and search based and and basically a big search engine like a Microsoft Bing. So that's where my frustration is on that front. But um, they talked about what we can do to set us ourselves up for success. So a lot of these obvious things that um, a lot of advertisers already need to have in order to be running the um, campaigns. But then they also mention about website exclusion. So this is where you can really look into in order to mitigate the situation. And I'm going to walk you through exactly what you can do um, as soon as possible in order to block this bad traffic from um, even seeing your ads. Um, so essentially the website exclusions are, it's basically you putting in the websites into Microsoft ads saying that you don't want your ads to appear on these certain websites within their audience network. And the only real way to see the websites that are going to be in the audience network is by letting the audience network run. But I found a way and it's actually through a uh, LinkedIn um, 
a PPCer named Sophie Logan, and she had shared a audience network list of the top 100 websites that are part of the audience network. And as you can see here, a lot of it are these are websites you probably haven't heard of. And your ads, if you run on Microsoft ads, could potentially be showing here, like acefinds.net, autoproducts.com, uh, let's see, healthychoice.org, weather.co, uh, postfund.com. So a lot of this is really low quality. You probably haven't even heard of a lot of these. Um, and it's just really unfortunate. But uh, what you can do is you can just go ahead and uh, grab the URL. I'll drop this um, the sheet in the description for you to just grab it and then drop it into your Microsoft ads campaign as a website exclusion. So you can go ahead and block it. So you can grab this list here. And then what you can do is go into tools and then under tools, there's going to be website exclusions list. Then under website exclusions list, you can go to create and then type in top 100 websites and this is all courtesy of Sophie Logan because she um, was running on the network in the past so she has a lot of the websites already I'm going to click save and then after that then we just need to make sure that we are applying this to the right account so I'm going to do do and then you can just add your account and then it will apply directly to your campaign now this is just going to block the top 100 highly trafficked websites based off of what um, this list has. But what you need to start doing um, once you you know have this in here is you need to start checking your reports and then go to the website URL publisher report um, at least once a week. Just like what you would typically do with um, search terms reports, you would go in here and you would see where Microsoft Ads is serving your ads um, on um, for within the Microsoft Audience Network. Grab the list from here and then you would then go into tools. So it would show up down here um, and then you would just grab the URLs and then you would go to tools and then website exclusions list and then you would just do just either add it to this um, list or you can just create a new one and just keep adding to that. Um, so yeah, that's the pretty big um, update here um, with the uh, Microsoft Audience Network. Um, if you have any questions, first of all, I would love to hear your thoughts on this change. And then um, on top of that, um, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you soon and seeing you in my next video. If you found this video to be helpful, I would love if you give, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.